What's up, everybody? Joseph R. Wheeler, the third artist founder and the president of the Honest Khan Foundation for a quick review, highly anticipated trailer for the most highly anticipated continuing game, Cyberpunk 2077's Phantom Liberty. I swear I watched the damn thing like three times. I stopped it, I paused it, I slow progressed it. I did everything to see all the little nuances and things I wanted to just go crazy about. This right here is gonna keep my goals and our goals, as you are supporters of Honest Con, of getting us a PS5, because we need us a PS5. So if you like this review and all our other content, in addition to the gaming content, just anything you know that we do and you love it, please send five bucks, send 10 bucks, send anything you got. Okay, so the first thing we notice about this is that V, the character you portray in the game, is still dealing with Johnny in her head and is still dying because of the chip that she has implanted. I'm wondering about what that's gonna be in this game because you'll notice that one clip, part of the clip, somebody sitting across from or another character and pulls a gun on them and they're looking one way and then the lady changes. It's like she gets the whole uh, uh, pixelated, you know, thing just, you know, kind of like a mystique in the X-Men just completely changes into somebody else and she's turning into what looks to be like a black woman and this is like, and she was maybe Latin or Asian or something or, you know, light-skinned Latin because Latin can be brown-skinned too, uh, you know what I mean, or dark-skinned too. But bottom line is, you see this and you say, whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on in this one. They done changed up the game. Like, you know, some folk don't even have to go to a ripper doc to get face surgery, so to speak, or body changes. They just have implanted stuff that just on the spot will change you, like change your molecules. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, this, that's, yeah, they're going there. Full throttle sci-fi. And I've been saying for the longest since I've been playing the game, the fact that you go around just sucking up weapons after you do a mission and you got all these bodies laying around and you're going through your enemies and, and looting all their stuff, you know, you have these little boxes that glow to know where there's items, right? I always said, why can't that be like something in Star Trek where these little cubes really turn into full items when they are ran across or scanned by a device that transfers them into something else just like you know beam me up scotty technology but you get your weapons you get your what's in your backpack and they say you have a backpack but when you look at your outfit you're never wearing a backpack so you know i, I want to see more of the the literal but still fantasy shout out to the originator though always in a day michael pond smith the black man who created the entire world of cyberpunk 2077 as a role-playing tabletop game yes And they've got this new uh, lady songbird who helps you. So she's like the lady version of, of a Johnny character, you know, your guide, your your spiritual guide, so to speak. Even though I think she's living in this thing, she's not just an image in your head. Looks like looks like she's actually somebody you meet who helps you out on the missions. So this is this is man. They got a hell of a thing going. It's like um, I'm uh, I'm I'm hype, y'all. I'm hype. You get this whole element of this arena, this this sports arena that was closed. And when you're playing it, you know, pre Phantom Liberty, anytime you get over there, it says nothing's here. You can't go in. You, you see it, you can get all around it, but you can't go in it. So in this, you're gonna be able to go in it. That's gonna be some part of Dogtown. And on the outside of it at night, you see these glowing signs, like there's always advertisements. I mean, it's, it's oversaturation of advertising, just like our real society, but to, to the absolute max. Like if every square inch of every city was Times Square in New York versus just Times Square in that one street. No, it's everywhere, totally bombarded by glowing screens, flashing imagery and, and ads at you. But this is outside this abandoned arena. And in the middle of it, you see this really cool dog looking uh, hieroglyph, digital glyph, if you will. And it looks like a dog skull and it says K9. So I'm thinking, okay, that must be the local gang. Like they got a gang that's, you know, all about dog culture and we're dogs and stuff. So I thought that was really ill because around it, you see all these ads for all of the shows and all of the products that you always see in the game. So it's like, 
no one cares that this is a total gang ter territory. We'll work out sponsorship for an abandoned arena that we know is ran by gangsters in a, a bleak area of town where, hell, they still got eyes and ears. They might watch our show. So, yeah, we'll throw them some money and put up our ad. <laughs> it's like it's so it's such a, a big statement about capitalism and how it can be that ridiculous now and in this bleak future that is fictional but still so real <laughs> from the char shard in your head the chip but maybe you got healed is what i thought they were going to do i thought you would just get totally healed in the beginning not you're going to be playing again to try to make a deal with somebody who's going to get you a, a healing i thought you will be you come back good or something and maybe they worked it out where johnny's in your head but y'all ain't he's not killing his presence is not killing you anymore and they've got this new uh, lady songbird who helps you. So she's like the lady version of, of a Johnny character, you know, your guide, your your spiritual guide, so to speak, even though I think she's living in this thing. She's not just an image in your head. You know, can you imagine Cyberpunk, the series on Netflix? It would be, I, I honestly think once it catches on, it would be bigger or as big as Game of Thrones. I said it, I said it. <laughs> I really think so. You know, it's just people don't get it. Everybody doesn't get it. Those who, those of us who love this stuff, we are down. You know, all of our best wishes have come true. 